Number two, the top strategies for e-commerce in 2018. The question is, is drop shipping dead? Now, if any of you have been on any of the Facebook groups uh, that over the past couple of days on Ecom Empires, on Timbird's group, on the TANS pages, um, on e-commerce elites is what the, is what that that one's called. You see people just hammering screenshots of their Black Friday sales, and so it shows you that even you know it, it's just this thing that that people that entrepreneurs and affiliates like to do. They like to say, "Oh, that's dead. Oh, that's not happening." But dropshipping is definitely not dead. Uh, there are some long-term ramifications that you want to be aware of if you're getting into dropshipping, and you want to get into dropshipping again in a way that. Pre that prepares you to advance your strategies long term, but there's no reason not to get into drop shipping right away. You need to have an idea for a product or just a category of products. Just do an electronics store. P pull out a bunch of cool electronics. Um, I'm working on a strategy right now that I'm really excited about uh, that I, I, I'm not gonna talk about just yet because I think it's, uh, uh, it's something I just wanna hold a little close to the vest while I, while I build out the strategy for it, but I'm really excited to get going on it. It's something I'm gonna be focusing on 2018. I'm gonna drop ship. My plan is to, I have a, I have a product idea uh, for what I wanna to evolve to eventually. I know what I wanna do eventually, but I found some stuff that's like that product on, uh, on AliExpress, Alibaba, and I'm gonna start by just proving the concept to be like, do people want products like this? Is this idea that I have worth it? I'm, and I'm just gonna test into that product with a really simple Shopify store using Oberlo, and if it works, I'm gonna contact the, you know, the makers of this product and I'm gonna say, hey, can I, can I throw my own label on that? Can I do that? I'm gonna work you know, through my network and basically try to evolve the process from something that I can just get going in an afternoon one time to something that I can build long term with the eventual goal of building my own brand. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do and that's really what I recommend as the top strategy for e-commerce. So that everything that you're doing on Facebook ads is essentially a continuum like an elevator, an escalator, something that gets you that gets you in the game, gets you take, taking massive action, and then, and then really starts your wheels turning about how you can extend this long term, how you could build the MVMT watch brand, or, or anything, you know, any one of these things that you see out there that have become massive successes, I bet they started uh, not by paying 50 grand to get a prototype made or, or things like that, they started by drop shipping, building out an audience of people that they know are somewhat interested in their products, building out their pixel, uh, and then proving whether people are willing to pay for for this idea, and then evolving it from there. So that's really what I what I suggest uh, focusing on. Um, buy you know buy the products you're selling. Number one, uh, you know that's I just put an order on the weekend for the products I want to sell. I'm buying them. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go to my handsome friends who are fitter than me, and I'm gonna rent a photo studio. We're gonna take some pictures, take some videos uh, of them using these products, and, uh, and and start creating video assets essentially to to sell these things. Uh, I just, uh, we started using Slidely. It's called Promo, I think, now. If you go, it's called slide.ly. If anyone out there is using uh, Slidely, maybe shout it out in the in the chat there. Uh, it's called Promo, I think, when you go to the site, but you go to slide.ly, uh, and it just allows you to spin out beautiful uh, video ads. It allows you to, they provide the video, they provide the music, you just have to put the, the imagery on top. I know it's something that the conference uses as well, to create uh, catchy ads to tell you that uh, you know that ticket prices are going up and that you better get on it, uh, and so, so so there's all these tools out there for you to allow you to create highly engaging video ads. Uh, Slidely is one that I would recommend, um, and then you want to create content video funnels. You want to create uh, essential video assets. Then you want to build lookalike audiences based on people that watch 75% of those things. This is essentially the video funnel strategy that Ezra Firestone articulates in one of his modules he did for us. Uh, and he is the best of it out there. He used a single piece of content and, and a, a series of, of, of a few videos, essentially, and linked them through in this basic funnel that has launched his you know, eight-figure um, cosmetics business with, with Boom and, and some other stuff. So the other thing that we're seeing on Facebook ads for e-commerce uh, is Canvas ads. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have tested out Canvas ads, but uh, I can't recommend them highly enough. It's something that we use a lot here at iStack Training. And if, if you just have to think about it in terms of Facebook, what Facebook wants. You know, Facebook wants the entire experience of Facebook ads uh, to be on Facebook ads. They don't want to link out to websites if they can possibly avoid it. So that's what Canvas does essentially, is it allows you to create uh, an entire experience from browsing to checkout essentially within their portal. And you know that in the long run, they're going to uh, award people using Canvas ads the benefit of the doubt. They're going to, 
um, they're going to pr you know, prefer people using Canvas ads because it allows them to keep that process inside. So it's something you should really be testing uh, for 2018, whether you're doing e-commerce, affiliate, uh, or agency work. So uh, as we mentioned, we're doing, uh, you know, we have these acceleration modules available on courses.istacktraining.com. Uh, these five proven scaling techniques by Muhammad Ali are uh, really, really high quality, uh, really top knowledge stuff that, that he's produced for us. And of course, Ezra Firestone, um, breaking into e-commerce uh, module as well. You can get them both in a bundle for a reduced price. Um, so this is another strategy for e-commerce that I think is really interesting. It's something that I'm, I'm really focused on for uh, the Europe show that we're gonna be doing uh, coming up in the summer. And, uh, and, and this is something that is, I was just talking about Jason Krisky as well. You know, his, he's built a media buying team. He's built this amazing team of media buyers who are amazing at going out there, building audiences, creating ads, you know, creating little funnels, getting people to buy purchases. But what a lot of affiliates aren't great at is the, the, the product, the customer service, the shipping, the complaints, the, all of these things that, that marketers, you know, isn't their, their number one instinct to do if they're gonna, gonna be doing e-commerce. And that's why I think it makes a lot of sense to go out and partner with people. Partner with people who have products but are shitty at marketing. That's the, the number one strategy for me in 2018. And I've already gone out, it's funny, I went to a, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm just gonna out, out this one, I'm working on this one right now, but I think it's kind of interesting. Is anyone aware of Raffi? Raffi the child singer. I took my daughter to a Raffi concert last weekend and it was awesome. Uh, and we met him afterwards. And he had announced to the crowd that he was doing a Baby Beluga game. And if anyone's familiar with Raffi, Baby Beluga is his biggest hit song. Everyone has been, you know, in, in, in North America especially, this is, uh, you know, every kid has been sung Baby Beluga. He calls people who, who grew up with Baby Beluga, Beluga grads. But I basically, you know, he told me he was selling this game for Christmas. I went to his website and it was garbage. It was hot garbage. Uh, it didn't look good. I don't think he's using any sort of these advanced ta tactics, basically, but I know he's got the product. I know it's a product. It's a beautiful product. And I know there's a massive audience of anyone who grew up with Rafi. So I instantly went to his, his site, and I've reached out, and I'm now in conversation with them to actually uh, do some marketing for them and basically like use some of these advanced Facebook tactics uh, to find their audience and to sell this product like crazy for Christmas. And uh, I, I'm really excited about it because I'm not going to build a baby beluga game. I don't know how to, you know, I don't know what the mechanics of the gameplay are. I don't have the art. I don't have the licensing. Uh, but if I can just make this deal with these guys and show them what I can do and what I can deliver, how I can find their audience using these amazing skills I've developed on Facebook ads, uh, it's going to put me in a really good position. And I think it just, you just have to reach out. Anytime you see something out there that you like, you reach out to that person. You find, you, you, you use your Google Kung Fu. You go out there and you find uh, who these people are, and then you, you talk to them about how you could improve, help improve their marketing to drive results at scale. Uh, and that's the power that you have if you are a Facebook ad wielder, essentially. So this, and this bridges into the third opportunity uh, for 2018, and it's something that I think you wanna do, even if you're doing the other two, you wanna create an agency. You wanna create an agency uh, for a number of reasons. One. It,